Now, I'm sure many people feel that one of the challenges with introductory classes is that this, there's this sense that you need to convey content, um, but realize that that often entails rather staid, you know, sort of traditional forms of lecturing, and how does one, you know, thread the needle of conveying content while also incorporating some of the new techniques of active learning. Um, you know, I myself uh, do think that there is an art to the traditional lecture, although I'm not sure that uh, traditional is a particularly apt term, but that there is an art to lecturing and that there are ways to preserve it in the classroom while also um, integrating other methods that have students doing more of the talking. Uh, so, for instance, you know, in my lectures sometimes I uh, I pause after, say, 10 or 15 minutes of covering content and do an activity where students are asked to process some of the material that they just heard, uh, a writing exercise like write, pair, share, or think, pair, share, where they uh, are given a prompt based on the material they just heard and either write on it or think about it, then discuss with a partner, and then share it with the group. So there are ways to uh, interrupt a 50 or 75 minute class time and diversify the things that you do so that uh, you're able to hold students' attention because of course 50 or 75 minutes is a very long time uh, to hold someone's attention. Incorporating activities in the course of the lecture uh, allows the students to shape the learning, allows them to steer the direction of the conversation and um, process what you have conveyed in terms of content and uh, offer questions that uh, open new directions for, uh, for the course of the lecture. So certainly not a sense that I have to get back on lecture and cover the materials that I had planned for the day, but allowing the lecture to prompt the students to pose questions or react in ways that then shape the rest of the class time. I also think that it's possible to not just incorporate activities into the lecture, but really more dramatically transform the classroom environment. So we may stop after 20 or 30 minutes, stand up, rearrange the chairs if the class is small enough, and shift to discussion session halfway through. Uh, so doing what you can, or try to do what I can over the course of the 75 minutes to uh, diversify the techniques that are being used. And when, once you do that, or once I do that, I feel that there can still be a place for uh, lecturing in the classroom.